Hello, I'm Jalen Barbie, a software engineer at Microsoft, and I'm here to make sure that you're set up for the DevDrive Challenge. This is part two of three of the Windows DevDrive educational series, how to set up DevDrive. It's important that we check the eligibility for DevDrive that we mentioned in the last video. Uh, that is only going to be, you're only going to see these settings if you are eligible in the first place. We're going to start off on the system settings page and go to storage. Scroll down to advanced storage options and disks and volumes. Uh, right here we see a prompt that says create a dev drive and off to the right there's a button that says create dev drive. So what we're going to do is go ahead and press that create dev drive button. So now these are going to be the recommended settings for most users. We're going to press create a new VHD. We're going to create a name, I'm gonna call it my dev drive and save it in the root of my default disk. I'm gonna change this to gigabytes and put the minimum in, which is 50. And for the format, we're just gonna do VHD and fixed size, which is recommended. Now we're gonna press create, and this is gonna take some time. Great. Now we're just gonna press initialize on the recommended partition style give it a label like my dev drive. This will mostly, most likely be letter D for you, and it makes sense for a dev drive, but I already have one set up, so I'm just gonna leave it at E. This is the same amount of gigabytes that we selected earlier, so we're just gonna press format. And just like that, a dev drive has been created. We have this new disk with the name that we put earlier, the letter that we put. Uh, to get there in terminal, all you have to do is from your C drive, you can press E for me. Um, or my other dev drive is D. So this is just how you toggle between them. And you can see here, now we have this virtual partition of my new dev drive that I just created uh, on my PC alongside my original dev drive and my local disk. So that's how you set up and get started using dev drive. Check into our next video to figure out how to measure your build times and submit to the dev drive challenge.